Moscone here from Endeavour Series HQ. I'm going to be trying out over the next few weeks in the lead up to our recce to the Himalayas various bits of kit. Now you can throw a lot of money at expensive bits of gear and sure it does the job but for the regular explorer then maybe a chance to look at some of the cheaper end of the uh, of the kit range might be uh, might be worth looking at. So here we have a cheapest chips three to four season bag came in from Amazon. Full details are up on the screen now. Uh, Thirty five quid, all in, including delivery. Claims to be a four season bag, and obviously it looks chunky enough for it, so pack down might be a bit of an issue. But what we try and do here at uh, Endeavour Series HQ is just to really see if it's up to it and it hopefully save you guys spending your money uh, on kit that isn't really fit for purpose because quite often you go to a store, see it online, you buy it, get it back home and then realise it's really not up to the job. So what we're going to do is just uh, open it up straight from the box as it's been delivered there by Amazon. Um, then in two weeks time we'll be on Dartmoor and we're going to try it and hopefully Dartmoor will deliver a true February's worth of its uh, loveliness. And then of course we'll give you a review when we're in the Himalayas and see how it performs up there. There's also other kit we're going to be trying out and we'll do a series of little snapshots on our thoughts on it. Need to stress here at Endeavour we are not tied to anyone, we're totally independent so we will just use the best kit and if we think it's any good we'll give it a thumbs up no good, thumbs down and we trash it. Uh, and I think that's only uh, respectable and a proper. So here we go, just open it out of the bag first off. See the stuff sack's fairly chunky, but I'm sure that'll scrump down pretty well. Take it out through, drawstring bag. Not sure that that's going to last, but you know, at the end of the day, it's only 35 quid. Let's pull it out of its stuff sack. It's a mummy sleeping bag. It's got 500 GSM filling, um, which means it's up in that three to four season bag weight. Uh, you can see that the various sections of the bag have been um, stitched all the way through there to stop the fibre filling from migrating from one end of the bag to the other. Usually I found, especially when you're in colder climbs, a lot of this uh, filling ends up down by the foot area. Uh, neat little hanger there, so if you are trying to uh, dry out your bag after a night, then you can hang that up pretty cool. Um, obviously, there's a the company logo, there's who they are, Ultra Camp. Velcro stopper on the top there. The zip goes all the way down the side. It's a right-handed zip, not that makes much difference, and goes down the bottom there. There's also a facility with a zip coming up from the other side. I think that's right. No, nope, got that completely wrong. So you can actually sort of prevent on the way down. Really, not much to say about a cheapest chips bag like this. It's just a, a standard mummy, so um, bigger guys might find it a little bit claustrophobic. Unfortunate. I'm just a shorty. I'm five foot ten, so that will uh, that will fit me quite well. Um, at the top here, you've got a, a really neat baffle which will go around your shoulders, and you just draw string that through. Okay, keep you nice and snug inside there, and the hood is reasonably articulated there, so you can see it's holding its shape, just like so. And that's quite important because quite often I've had bags where, even on the expensive ones, where they don't have this ridging in the in the in the mummy sort of hood area, and you know, all the scrumps up under one side, or it's stretched across your face, and it can be quite uncomfortable. And again, that fits in quite neatly with the rest of the bag. So, at the end of the day, I'm not going to go on too much about it. It is a sleeping bag. Nothing too. Uh, complex about it. It is a chunky uh, bad boy because obviously it's 500 GSM filling and that should go quite neatly back into the stuff sack like so because that's copious enough and I'll show you in a shot in a moment when I've scrunched these, uh, these tie straps down so you can see how well it's actually uh, gone back into, into the bag there. So there it is, the Ultra Camp 500, 35 quid from Amazon. I say it's the cheap end of the market. Uh, we'll be testing it in two weeks' time on Dartmoor, and we'll review it there and let you know how we get on. That's all for now. So, there it is. It's back in its stuff sack, as we saw earlier. I'm just going to scrunch these down just to see how compact we can get this. Well, I appreciate it. it's not like the more expensive bags, which are ultra-light and ultra-small. 
but again it is a four season bag, well definitely a three, possibly a four, we'll find out. Let's see how small this will scrunch down. There it goes there. Now that's quite an interesting thing, the, uh, the ratcheting point on there doesn't look to be robust. I reckon after a few goes that's probably going to break, but it's uh, a bit of an issue, but again, it's the cheap end of the, the spectrum. I'd say that's about as small and as compact as you're going to get it. Weighing in a couple of kilos, so again, not for ultra light camping, but you know, we're going to be up on the hill for maybe six days when we're out there. Um, and the most important thing is a good night's kit. So if you don't get that, you're going to be suffering. So fingers crossed, it's worth putting up with a bit of extra burden inside your pack for a good night's kip. Okay, that's all for now.